Hello everyone. Welcome to the very first video of this Java for Beginners series. Before we start coding in Java, we need to download something called the JDK, which stands for Java Development Kit. So open up your browser and search for JDK Download. And click on the first link here. This will take us uh, to the Java SE download page. We're going to use the latest version of Java, which is Java 11. And click download here and accept the license agreement. And then based on your operating system, choose one to download. I'm not going to download one because I already have one. And after your download is complete, uh, you should see a file like this. And double click it to install. And after your installation is finished, open command prompt. Uh, which is uh, command prompt on Windows or terminal on Mac OS and Linux and type in Java C space dash version okay hit enter um, and we'll see this Java C is not recognized uh, error message uh, so in order to uh, for our computer to recognize our JDK uh, what we need to do is we need to add it to the system path variable. Okay, so I will show you how to do this on Windows, and I will also put up a link in the description on how to do this on Windows uh, on Mac OS and Linux. Okay, uh, so on Windows, the first thing we need to do is to locate where we installed our JDK 11. Uh, for me, it is uh, at stor storage D program files. Java in JDK 11, double click it, and bin, double click it, and copy the full path. Okay, and you can exit that out of the window. Now open control panel and find system. Advanced system settings, environment variables, and down at the bottom, system variables. I'll scroll to find path. If you don't have path, you click on new and type in path and then paste in your path because uh, I already have one. So what I want to do is click on edit and then new and then paste it in. Okay. And next we hit make sure your uh, JDK path is selected and hit move up. Up, 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 all the way to the top. Uh, this is because we need to tell our system that this is the default version of JDK that we want to use. And then click OK, OK, and OK, OK. And exit out of the terminal, open it again, and type Java C space dash version. Hit enter. Now there we go. We see our system can recognize our JDK now.